Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the Instructional Technology Coach for the Peekskill City School District. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an assignment in Infinite Campus. Here on our screen, I have a few demo classes that I'll be using for today's video. And we'll start by expanding the left side menu if we don't already see it by clicking on the three lines at the top left of the screen, which will reveal the main menu screen. From here, under Instruction, we will click on Gradebook. Here, we see our gradebook for this particular English class. On the left-hand side, we will see the roster, which will show all of our students in alphabetical order by last name. And on the right-hand side, once we start to add assignments, we will see the titles of those assignments, along with all of the grades each student received on those assignments. To create our first assignment, we will click on the Add button right above the student roster. After clicking on Add, we will see a menu pop up on the right side of our screen, which is where we will create the rest of this assignment. The first aspect is to create a title. It is important to note that we should try to be as specific and clear as possible in the titles that we create, not only for use for ourselves, but for our students and their families. So in this example, I am going to type in Unit 1, Test 2. Next, under our visibility settings, I want to make sure that my students can see this, so I will make sure that it is on for visible to class. My start and end date here will be September 1st. That's completely fine. And under students, right now it says all assigned, which I can click on and deselect certain students if I only wanted to assign this to a subset of my class. In this example, I want all of my students, so I have to make no changes and I will just click OK. Next, we will see the grading section which can be turned on or off depending on whether you want your assignment to be graded. If we toggle it off, you'll see that the rest of the grading options will be collapsed, but for today, we want to have this be a graded assignment. Under grading, you'll notice that there's an option for abbreviation, and in this case, it did a very good job of choosing an abbreviation for me, which is U1T2, but it is helpful to be wise about the abbreviations that you choose, especially when we are looking at multiple assignments. This can be very helpful. Our sequence we can leave as the default option for now. Under category, for this demo classroom, we have three categories, classwork, homework and participation, and test quizzes and projects, which is the category I will be choosing for today. For the standard or grading task, it should come up automatically as the report card grade. My system is a little different for demonstration purposes, so I had to make the change, but you should see report card grade by default. If not, just make sure to choose the dropdown and select report card grade before moving forward. For the scoring type, we will use points, and in this case, a 100 point assignment is perfectly acceptable, and our multiplier is going to stick at 1.0. That is it for our assignment creation, so the only thing I need to do is click on Save. We now see that our assignment is saved. We can see the title, the start and end date, along with our visibility settings, the students that it's been assigned to, the abbreviation, total number of points, and we are all set. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out using the contact information you see on the screen in front of you. Have a great day.